Slobodan Milosevic, the Serbian Communist Party president, is the most charismatic leader to have emerged since the death of Tito. Earlier this week, Milosevic was persuading his supporters, who had marched on the Belgrade parliament, to disperse, promising them political reforms they demanded. The issue Milosevic has used to fuel Serbian nationalism is the crisis in Kosovo in the south. Their ethnic Albanian Muslims far outnumber Christian Serbs, who say they're persecuted and want Kosovo's autonomy curbed. Tensions have stayed high since Albanian separatist riots seven years ago, in which an unknown number of people died. Quite clearly, Serbia is yearning for a leader. And, um, um, and Mr. Milosevic has been uh, very skillfully taking advantage of many Serbian grievances, including the national one, which started, you know, with the 1974 constitution, saying thereby Serbia was really deprived of its two provinces, uh, uh, saying even that Serbia is the only state in Europe or in the world, I mean, these were his words, which lost its state in peacetime. <laughs> And all this has a terrific appeal. Today, the broken windows of the Novi Sad provincial government building were the only sign of last night's mini-revolution in Vojvodina. The local communist party met behind closed doors to think about choosing a new politburo and to set its political house in order again.